the heavy-duty around door seal draft excluder prevents wind, drafts, and rain from getting in around the sides and top of the door. Made from 100% recyclable aluminium, it's an environmentally friendly solution that will reduce your heating bills and save energy. You will need a tape measure, pencil, hacksaw, scissors, pliers, bradawl, and a screwdriver. Step one, preparation. Using white spirit, make sure all surfaces are clean and free from dust, dirt, and grease. Allow to dry completely. Before fixing, inspect the lengths. The three lengths with a straight rubber are to be fitted on the top and latch side of the door, and the two lengths with curly rubber are to be fitted on the hinge side. Step two, fit the top. Start by measuring the width along the inside of the top of the door frame. Take one of the lengths with a straight rubber and measure equidistant from each side to ensure screw hole positions are central across the length. Pull the rubber out of the way and cut to size using a hacksaw. Slide the rubber back to align with the end and use scissors to cut the rubber to size. Using the pliers, crimp the ends to hold the rubber in place. With the door closed, hold the top length in place and apply a small amount of pressure to the rubber six to nine millimeters from the thick edge of the metal. Mark the position of the screw holes using a marker or pencil. Before fitting, it is advisable to make small pilot holes with a brad awl to facilitate easy entry of the screws. Next, firmly screw into position with the door open. Step three, fit the latch side. Take one of the lengths with straight rubber. Slide the rubber out of the way and create a notch 5 mm into the thick part of the metal using a hacksaw. Open the door and place into position against the top piece, metal to metal, and push the rubber back up to meet the top rubber to seal. Crimp the end using pliers to hold the rubber in place. On the other end, trim the rubber to size using scissors and crimp with pliers. With the door closed, apply a small amount of pressure on the rubber and mark the position of the screw holes. Open the door before fitting as before. Whilst the door is open, take the measurement for the bottom piece by measuring the remaining space. On the final length with the straight rubber, measure equidistant from each side to ensure screw hole positions are central across the length. Pull the rubber out of the way and cut to size using a hacksaw. As before, cut the rubber to size and use pliers to crimp the ends. With the door closed, apply a small amount of pressure on the rubber and mark the position of the screw holes. Open the door before fitting as before. Step four, fit the hinge side. Using the lengths with the curly rubber, repeat the previous steps to fix into place on the hinge side of the door. It is important to take great care to ensure the door doesn't catch the rubber along the hinge side when closing. On slightly twisted doors or frames, fit the hinge side strips with the door closed so that it just touches the doors. This will prevent any possibility of the rubber being trapped when closing the door. 